Lindsay from SRAM, and welcome to Token Tuesday. Today, we're going to look at bottomless tokens and volume spacers, and what the heck do these things do, and where do they even go? So, we'll start with fork tokens. These are meant to go on the air spring side of your fork, and they're meant to take up volume. So this side is full of air. As soon as you put these in, you're now reducing the amount of air that is in that spring, and that is going to prevent bottom out resistance. So it's going to make it harder for you to bottom your suspension out. So why would you need these, or how many do I even have in here? Well, first of all, you'll need a cassette tool to check this. You'll remove the air cap, you're gonna make sure all of the air is out of your fork. And then you'll use this cassette tool to remove the top cap. Should be on there pretty tight. I preset it so that it'd be pretty easy to get off. But we will see that the Furtado has one token installed. So if you go out for a ride, you set your sag correctly, and you're bottoming out all over the place. That means that you should add another one of these tokens. They just screw into each other. You can tighten it with an Allen key. And then you just place it back in the air spring side. Use your cassette tool to tighten it up. Make sure that you follow the recommended torque settings. Now, if the opposite is true, if you set your sag correctly, you go out for a ride, and you are not getting anywhere close to using full travel, you're never bottoming out, that means that you should take one of these tokens out and allow more air spring volume in your fork. On the shock side, these volume spacers work the same way. You'll just need to remove the air can, and then you'll see that these just clip into one another. They work the exact same way in the fork and the rear shock. They're meant to take up air volume and pre prevent bottom out resistance. Thanks for joining this week's Token Tuesday. Join in next week for some more tips. Thanks for joining for this week's Tech Tuesday. Tune in next week. Ha, ha, ha.